today's video we are going to make no we are not going to make anything we are going to see how the robotic arm is working if you are a long time subscriber you would have noticed that previously we have uploaded a video on how to make a robotic arm but the project didn't work as we expected <laughs> but today's video is not going to be like that one it's without wasting further time let's see how this working in the next video we are going to upload a step by step process to build this robotic arm now let's get started this is creative craig stand up and i'm sure i'm just waiting for you to subscribe to my channel if you didn't before if you do subscribe to my channel you will be notified whenever we are uploading a new video now let's get started This robotic arm has 5 degrees of freedom which means it can move in 5 different directions without any trouble. And this was achieved by 3 stepper motor, 2 mini stepper motor and a servo motor. Now let's see one by one how it's working. Now the first one comes the stepper motor at the bottom of our robot which is responsible for moving our robot in x and y axis. Before explaining about the gears, I want to take you to the basic physics class for understanding it better. Just imagine you are going to tighten a nut with a spanner. You will notice one thing: if you place your hand at the end of a spanner, it will be easy for you to tighten the nut. But if you move the hands toward the heads of a spanner, it will be hard for you to tighten. Considering the previous question, now let's see even simpler. Torque is equal to force into length, which means if you increase the point of contact where the force is acting, the net torque will also increase. Now let's see the case of our motor. Our motor can be able to tolerate up to 4.2 kg per centimeter of torque. But in some cases the torque required by the load will be greater than the torque of the motor which result in heating the motor because the motor cannot be able to lift the load. If you face such kind of problems physics will definitely help you. There are two solutions for this problem. Number 1 we want to decrease the torque of the load. which we can do it simply by reducing the distance between the shaft of the motor and the point where the force is acting solution number 2 is using gears if the driver gear which is attached to the motor is smaller than the load driven gear it will increase the torque or if the driven gear is smaller than the driver gear it will increase the rpm of the motor next we can see about the motor in the middle axis This motor must have the highest amount of torque among each and every motor because it's going to carry each every load in its shoulder that is the reason it is fitted with epicyclic gearing which is used for increasing the torque three times This is the working of this gear Now let's move on to the next axis the top axis the top axis is a point where the gripper is placed we can see minimum amount of torque is required to lift the shaft which means no gear is required now let's move on to the extender where the gripper is placed the grip the extender is attached to a mini stepper motor for driving is up and down end of a extender the gripper is attached in between a servo motor is placed for driving it left and right with an angle of rotation 180 degree at the bottom of the gripper you can see a mini stepper motor is placed for controlling the gripper With all the motors working correctly, the robotic arm will does its job pretty good. Now let's see about the circuit diagram which is responsible for controlling this motor. This is the circuit which gives life to our robotic arm. We can remove each and every component in the circuit and replace it with a new one if anyone get damaged. Now let's see about each and every component separately. Number 1, A4988 stepper motor driver. This driver IC is responsible for controlling the stepper motor forward backward and we can even choose the number of rotations per second. Let's go even deeper into the IC. It has 16 pins in it. These 3 pins are responsible for setting up the micro step mode. 
A micro step mode is nothing but a feature available in the stepper motor. By using this feature efficiently, we can even increase or decrease the torque or we can even increase or decrease the RPM as required for the project. Next come step pin and direction pins. When we give high to the step pin, the motor will rotate. The direction pin is for changing the direction. If you give high, the motor will rotate in one direction or if it's or if it is slow, the motor will rotate in another direction. Then these four pins which are connected to the motor directly. And the top two pins are for external power supply. We need to add 100 microfarad capacitor to protect our circuit from any voltage spike in the external power supply. This IC is used for controlling the mini stepper motor. Its number is ULN2830. Next, the heart of our project Arduino Nano. Behind Arduino Nano, we can see a Bluetooth HC05 module which is used for establishing a connection between our mobile phone and Arduino. Now, let's go into the code. This is my homemade PC which we built in previous video. I have given a link for this code in the description. If you want to check it, you can go there, download it. I will explain to you simple that how the code is working. Whenever any keys or button pressed in the Bluetooth app, the Bluetooth in the mobile phone send us with a character which is allotted to that button. With the help of HC05, our Arduino Nano will get that character and execute the functions accordingly. This is MIT App Inverter where I have built this Bluetooth application. In the blocks, you can see each button is allotted with certain characters. Whenever the button is pressed, the characters will be sent out from our mobile, which is received by the HC05 mod Bluetooth module connected to the Arduino. We have came to the end of the video. In this video, you would have learned how to build a robotic arm, what kind of motors you can use, and you can know how to manage the torque and everything. In the next video, we can see how we can build this one. Till then, it's time to say goodbye. See you in next video of making this robotic arm. And if you want to watch it, just subscribe to my channel. And goodbye. Oh, hey.